What is up YouTube, XCX Solutions here and today I am bringing you a JTAG tutorial and this is on how to install RG Loader onto your RGH or JTAG. So what is RG Loader? RG Loader is essentially a dev kit NAN that allows you to run on your JTAG or RGH and basically is a minimal dev kit like NAND that allows you to do certain things such as dump very quickly using Peak Poker, Simple Dump Plus Plus, you can use some other programs out there that I will link in the description below. And there are many, many more features such as using data breakpoints in Visual Studio to breakpoint and offset and some different things. But you can go ahead and read the different release notes and different features here. You can also do some unique features such as your neighborhood console name. So you can change like the name to say XX Solutions in neighborhood. So when you type in XX Solutions, it will recognize the console and be black as a dev kit. And then you can do different things in there as well. So you can go ahead and obviously muck around with this. This is really cool. I use it for dumping stuff like offsets and just doing some different things in Visual Studio. It's really, really handy to have if you're doing, you know, coding and stuff like that. I won't get into depth for that, but uh, I'll let you guys experience this for yourself. This is just on how to install it, and I may do a separate video on, you know, overviewing the actual features. So, big thanks to Tyredi81. I'm not sure if he co-developed this with someone else, so I want to go ahead and just give, you know, a massive thank you to him. This, unfortunately, is not updated to the latest Dash kernel. It is still on 17.150, so I'm hoping that he will release a new version of this so you can run it on the latest dashboard so maybe you can get online with certain servers like ninja and xbox live zone i don't know if you can run it on offline files i'm not entirely sure because i've never actually ran this online before so i've only ever used this offline so you won't be able to use this online on your jtag this is only for offline purposes you know for dumping and different things like that but again we are on version 0.510 so hopefully he will bring a new version out so you can use this online so if you go ahead in the description below and click on the rg loader link this will take you to this page with release notes and everything about it again if i haven't really explained much about it you can just check here he just goes into detail about absolutely everything and you can see the change log and what he's added and what he's removed and whatnot so if you come down to the bottom of his thread you'll see a blue link here so if you just click this it'll take you to a send space link and you just want to click a download and just save it to a convenient place once you've downloaded it you will see a WinRAR icon like so just simply extract that and you'll be prompted with a folder with a lot of files in it there is 20 items you should have 20 items in this folder make sure you download version 0.510 this is the latest one in this point in time if he does update it i will leave a new download link in the description below so be sure to check that out in the future if he has changed it so before we start the process of installing rg loader i do want to say be careful and uh, you know a little warning so i've bricked a few consoles i've bricked my falcon rgh2 because for some reason the rg loader does not work on my falcon rgh2 i have no idea why i've tried contacting tie-dye directly and i've had no response but i have a trinity rgh1 and it works a treat on version 0.510 my falcon works on older versions of rg loader but not the latest rg loader so make sure that if you do flash your dev nand onto your jtag and it does not boot whatsoever after watching this tutorial make sure that you eject into zell and you can boot into zell and then you can flash from there back to your original freeboot NAND because what happened is I basically flashed my RG loader dev kit NAND onto my Falcon. It wouldn't boot. I could boot into Zell and then I'd done some tweaking to try and fix the problem and made it even worse. And then I actually couldn't boot into Zell whatsoever. So what I had to do is use a JR program of V2. And thanks to Modern Warfare, he basically told me how to solder and whatnot. So yeah, I had some really big issues back then. But it's all fixed now. So I'm just giving you a warning. Do not muck this up. Watch the tutorial very carefully. Take it slow and if you do want to risk you know bricking your console then go ahead but you should be okay as long as you know what you're doing and you place the correct files where they are and whatnot and if you can boot into Zell after you've had the problems then great because you can flash back but if not you may need a JR program or a Nandex Pro to be able to restore the default files on there so with that said let's get started we're going to need a few things you're going to need your original nan dump so basically when the person jtagged or hacked your console you're usually going to get two nan dumps or one nan dump or maybe even three it depends but your original nan dump for your console so mine's called nan dump 
1.bin so you're going to need this and I'm just going to place this onto the desktop for ease of access and so make sure that you get the original NAND dump for your console because I don't think it works with a later dump for some reason that's where I went wrong earlier like I said in the video once you've done that go ahead and open RG build a launcher so once we have that on the desktop you're going to want to open your options.ini so double click on that and that will open in notepad scroll down and you'll see CPU key exploit and kernel now for some odd reason there is two CPU keys set here so what you want to do is just delete this line so you just have this one here and then choose your exploit so for me I'm using an RGH1 so I will type in capitals RGH1 if you have an RGH2 then you type RGH2 and if you have a JTAG console then you'd simply type JTAG like so for the kernel version it is 17150 as he has not updated this as I said so make sure that is 17150 you can just leave the NAN location because we'd be directing this either way so go ahead and click file and then save exit out of that and then run the RG build launcher as administrator once you've opened it you'll see a nice GUI here so I'm going to choose RGH because for some reason the settings have not applied and the kernel version make sure it's 17150 for the CPU key you're going to want obviously your CPU key for your JTAG not the KV CPU key I've said this numerous times so it should look as something like this copy and paste it into the box like so and then what you want to do from here is click the NAN button go to your desktop or wherever you've placed the original NAND dump and double click on that that will then put the NAND into the RG build and everything should look something like this now you're all set you just want to click RG builder and it will bring up a command window like so and if all correct it should say flash image to NAND using any NAND writing tool enjoy and you should have patched here maybe sometimes you don't get patched it's a little bit weird I get patched for mine if you scroll up you can just see you know the general things and what it's actually doing but uh, as long as it's a successful and you get no errors you should be good to go to press any key to close it okay so the next step is you'll see image 7150 dev.bin that is the dev NAND we will be flashing onto our console but before we do that we're going to need to turn our console on because we need to drag a few things onto the root of the hard drive so the console is on I'm gonna go ahead and open up neighborhood go onto the root of my hard drive you're gonna want to open the RG build directory and place RG loader.ini onto the root of your hard drive drag and drop that onto the root of your hard drive once again once that's on your hard drive we're going to do one more step and that is a little bit tricky so all you want to do is create a new folder called file systems now it has to be exactly how I type it out so with a capital F and then the rest just lowercase exactly like so so file systems all one word otherwise it will not work this is very important guys make sure that you have it written like this once you have that directory on your hard drive go ahead and open it go into the HDD file systems in the RG build folder and you'll see 17150 dev now if you go inside here there is a system update I actually deleted this as it just doesn't you know mean anything you don't actually need it for me it works fine without it I think it creates one anyway so I just deleted this so you should have around 40 free items all you want to do is go back and drag this folder into the file systems folder and let that process it should take a couple of minutes depending on your connection I think maximum two minutes I'd say so leave that let it process and I'll be back once it's done so as you can see if we go inside the folder I have all of the files in there like so so now we should be good to flash the NAND dump onto our JTAG so for this tutorial I'm going to be using simple 360 NAND flasher because I like the GUI of it and I got recommended by it and I've never used flash 360 since so I'm going to be using simple 360 NAND flasher if you do want to download this it will also be in the description below so I'm gonna go ahead and go into the directory and place the NAND dump into here so it's in the RG build directory if we go in here and it's called image.17150 dev.bin so simply drag that dump inside here and next we can close this folder and rename this to UPD flash.bin launch the default XX and now what you want to do is press a and then press the start button this will go ahead and flash the NAND onto your console shouldn't take too long depending on how big your NAND size is now it will say shutting down in five four three two one and then buy once it's shut down wait around 30 seconds you don't have to but I do this as a personal preference and then simply turn your console back on just by pressing the power button on the console so there you have it guys Xbox 360 development kit RG loader XNA a development kit you can see the IP address and the machine name in the top right hand corner I've just set it to Eden 
but you can set this to whatever you want I've already done this before so it actually saves up there which is really cool so if you just choose your language so I'm going to choose English and here is the main screen of RG loader so you can do different things you can see in the bottom right hand corner we're on flash 17 150 and the XDK version is 21 256 if we go right you can see the X content packages so this basically all of the content on, on your hard drive if we press X you've got tools such as network settings system settings Xbox Live tools and different things like so so if I go into system settings you can see everything to do with you know video format resolution sound dump settings if we go to network settings you can see game configuration and you know just the general network and you can also from here in debug network configuration change your machine ID so if you go ahead and open Xbox 360 neighborhood you should see Eden here so I already have it here so if we set this as default it's really cool it's actually blacked out because usually it's this type of color and if you right click it and go to properties it says Eden and then development kit again you can have this to whatever you want so whatever you set inside of machine name it will be inside of neighborhood and you can connect that way so that's pretty awesome or you can just use the IP address on screen as well so guys that is pretty much on how you install a dev NAND onto your JTAG or RGH I will make probably another video going into real depth of RG loader and all of its features but this is just on how to install it and make sure that you don't brick it and make sure that you do it properly I hope I've helped in a way comment rate subscribe and all that good stuff and I'll see you guys in the next video peace